Okay, so in this video, I'm going to have a look at dividing this line segment into three equal parts um, by using a compass and a ruler or a straight edge. So um, this line segment here is about, well, it is uh, 15 centimeters long. So I'm going to try and divide it into uh, five centimeters, five centimeters, and five centimeters. I can obviously do it with a ruler here, but we're going to look at the um, the way you would do it using a compass and ruler. So first thing we're going to do here is just draw a line down along here. Just continue it on down here. And what I'm going to do is get my compass and draw three arcs down along this line here. Now if I wanted to divide this line segment into four parts, I would draw four arcs, five parts, I would draw five arcs, and so on. So I'm just going to do three anyway. So I'm just going to take my compass here, bring it down along here, and I'm going to rough end up somewhere down along here. It doesn't have to be directly underneath B, but just anywhere down along here is fine. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put my compass here, bring my pencil here, and I'm going to draw an arc here bring the compass down, put it on this point here where the arc intersects uh, the line. And do the same thing again, draw another arc. And let's go again once more. So put the compass here and draw one more arc. Okay, so we have our three arcs here. Now you can see this point here isn't directly underneath B. So let's uh, just mark these points of intersection. This one here we'll call, let's say C. This one here we'll call uh, D. This one here E. Now the next thing you do is you take your ruler and you join E to B. Okay, so now what we've got to do is draw three lines, or two more lines, I should say, through here and through here, parallel to EB. So we're going to draw a line here, and we're going to draw a line here. But they must be parallel to this line here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our set square, and we're going to line it up here with EB. And put the base of the set square somewhere near, just below E. And what we're going to do is put our ruler against this edge here. And we're going to just slide the ruler or slide the set square up along here until it reaches D. So once it reaches D, you can draw a line up here like that. So this line here should be parallel to this line here. So we're going to do the same again, but we're going to do it through C this time. So again, put your set square here along uh, the line through D. And put your ruler underneath. Just line it up with your set square. And again, just slide up along until you hit C. Once you hit C, draw a line up here like this. And that's your construction finished. Now let's just mark these two points here. Well, we've got as far as E, so let's call this one F, and let's call this one here G. Now what we should find is that we did, remember this was our original line segment here, A, B. We wanted to divide it into three equal parts. So this part here should be equal to this part here, which should also be equal to this part here. Each one should be five centimeters in length, and you can see there that's five centimeters and we have five centimeters here and finally here we should have five centimeters as well yet we five centimeters here so we've divided our line segment our original line segment into three equal parts as I say if you wanted to divide the line segment into four equal parts you would need to do four arcs down along here or five arcs if you wanted to divide into five parts and so on 